Back at round four of the International Pool Tour, it's come down to this. Mika Eminen, although eliminated earlier in the round, plays the spoiler and beats Francisco Bustamante 8-3, which knocks Francisco out of the running. It does, however, clear the way for the dramatic showdown between two players from the Philippines. The winner of Efren the Magician Reyes and marvelous Marlon Manalo will advance to the final match to the hill to face Mike Siegel. Mike and Kevin what are your reads on this match? Well, you know, up until this point, Marlon has played absolutely flawless pool, the better pool than Efren. But Efren has only played the last two days because he's a Hall of Famer. He's been up and down, but he has the consistency and history of always winning the pressure <laughs> matches, right, Mike? Yeah, tell me about it. I mean, I, I, you know, either guy, I'm sure, is going to be very, very tough to beat. I mean, they've been playing for the week. Uh, Ephraim has got the experience. He knows how to win. Marlon, on the other hand, is I've never seen him before, but the guy's got a great break. Now, is he going to fall apart under pressure? I don't know. But either match, as I've been seeing this, is going to be very tough. It's going to be a spectacular. I'm match. still going to win, though. It doesn't well, make any difference. Bo <laughs> both Reyes and Manalo stand at three and one on the day. The winner will move on and have a chance at becoming the new king of the hill. So let's go to the table. Table three in the tournament room, as tense and nerve wracking poolside as it can be. Manalo takes an early 4-3 lead on his legendary countryman. Reyes, however, fights back gallantly and wins three straight games to go ahead 6-4. We now pick up the action. Reyes leading 6-4. Huge pressure. Everything on the line. Efren with the break. Boy, he hit those pretty nice. He changes up his speed every yeah. single time. But you know, Marlon has played better in the tournament so far. Yeah, oh, definitely. Marlon, to me, has been the most impressive player in the event so far. But I don't really know him. I don't know how he plays at the end under the big pressure. You know, that's something he's kind of new on the scene. It's something that we're going to have to see, you know, and watch his game. Ephraim is a champion. He's won before. He, he knows what it's like. So, you know, this, of course, Ephraim is looking a little shit. I know Ephraim, and he's kind of moving around. He's very nervous, believe me when I tell you. I mean, uh, I've seen Ephraim play a lot. Well, I mean, think about it. Whoever wins this match faces you tomorrow. Yes, I know. And we're talking a couple hundred thousand dollars swing know. here. That's the, the average income in the Philippines, to give you an idea, is $600 a year. So what kind of money are they playing for? Well, it will be one of two Filipino-born players. If he wins this and runs out, he takes, takes the hill. It's a race to eight. The first player to win eight games. He's actually perfect here. He's going to play the nine in the corner, play the other stripe ball in the side pocket. So Ephraim is looking pretty good right here. This could be a break and run out. Reyes with the six to four lead in the match. And Marlon just sitting there. Wondering if he's going to get back to the table. Game. Indeed, Efren Reyes just one game away from advancing to the final match. Can Manalo, who's been virtually unbeatable through the entire tournament, come back? It's the international pool tour. Real pool, real rules, real money. We are back at the International Pool Tour. Efren, the magician Reyes, one game away from getting to the hill and his date with Destiny and Mike the Mouth Siegel. We're back at the table. Efren leads 7-4 in the race to eight. Marlon Manalo's heart is probably ready to jump out of his chest at this moment. Efren keeps the break because he just won the last game. Oh, Marlon will have a shot. Nothing drops on the break for Reyes. You know, Marlon was leading this match 4-3, to three, and Efren came back and just won the last three games in a row. Four games in a row. He's looking at the table right now. He's well, got to, he's got to, it looks like he's got to take solids because I don't think he has a shot on the strike ball. He may not have a shot, period. 
Uh, I don't know what he's playing here. Now he's in, he's in a tough situation. What, what did he just call there, Mike? He said 13 ball. I don't know. Efren seems to be yeah. unbelievably and uncannily been lucky. Yeah. When he doesn't make a ball on the break, the other player just yeah. never seems to have a shot. And yeah. it's hard to believe an eight ball with 15 balls on the table, you don't have a shot. I mean, I mean that, that's we, hard to believe. We've watched this the last few days, and Efren, it seems to have done it almost every single time. He doesn't make a ball. Things have really wow. aligned for Efren Reyes, and he'll come right back to the table here. Look at what he had to do, shoot a long combination. Look at the shot he's got to open up with. Can you believe this? If Ephraim had made a ball, it would have been the other way around. I mean, it's, it's uncanny sometimes. See what he did there? He tried to play the four into the 13. Almost makes the eight. That would have been interesting. Well, he would have lost the game. Of course. But now he's opened the door for Ephraim. I mean, Ephraim, uh, well, I think I just saw a little problem there. There's two balls stuck together. I think it's the five and maybe the 13 ball. So do you think this is a rack that Efren can run out? He can run out, but he has to immediately try and break out those two balls at the top of your screen. That's the key to this rack. The winner of this match faces you, Mike. I'm the, waiting. The, now, you faced Efren before in the finals. Many times. Many times, and you have a winning record over him. Yes. Actually, he has never beat me in the finals. So... Again, you know, this goes back to this whole thing where I've never been in this position before because normally when you're in the finals, you come from, like these guys have been playing every day in the tournament. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, did he break it out or he tried to break it out? Ah, uh, uh -huh. see, they're stuck together. Yep. So That's worse. He's going to have some problems here, this rack. You see the two balls there? He makes a good shot there, though. You can see the crowds have been swelling day after day here at the King of the Hill Championship. And tomorrow, Mike, it's a packed house, a sellout crowd, sold it out weeks ago, standing room only. Boy, Ephraim's made another bad mistake. Look what he did here. I can't believe he's laughing. He knows it, too. How can he laugh? And when you make a mistake, you throw your stick into yeah, the stands. Yeah, right. Ephraim, I used to do. I used to laugh too when I made a mistake. I really wanted to spear somebody with my cue. But <laughs> look at this shot. It's a good shot he, there, boy. Does he break it up? Does he break it up? Mm, I don't know what he did. He really has a, a likable disposition. Yeah, Ephraim's a great guy. He's got. He's actually got the 14, the green stripe ball. But he, he might be able to play the 13 in the side right now. It's hard to tell. But he's struggling. No, he's playing the 14. If Ephraim runs this rack and Merlin doesn't face you. Look at this shot. No, I don't know what Ephraim's doing here. I think Ephraim's, I don't think he knows himself. He makes a good shot on the 14, draws Look the cue ball. Look at the spin he put on that cue ball. He was trying to get for the side pocket, I believe. I'm really not sure. It's hard to tell from this angle. But I don't think he has a shot. Now, he might try and bank it. I don't really know what's going to happen. What's he doing? He's Can he banking. play that? It looks like he's bank banking it. No, he pointed to that. He's banking, oh, no, he's it, over banking there. it Yeah. yeah. Well, here we go. It really, this is it. Really Banker appears bust. like he's making it up as he goes along. Banker bust. Yeah, he missed it. Oh my oh, goodness! Oh, don't this. say this. Oh. well, I'll <laughs> tell you what. He's left. Now here's another situation. This here. is unbelievable. He actually gets lucky. He kisses the one ball. See, it had no chance of going. Nips the one and actually heads for the pocket. But here's the problem. Manalo has. Look at the one and two. You see where the one and two are? They have no pocket to go in. He's got the four and seven on the rail. This run out is going to be very, very tough for him to run out anyway. So, again, Ephraim has made a mistake, but I don't think he's going to pay a penalty for it. You know, it seems like when the breaks are going your way, they yes. continue to go your way. Or it could be neither guy wants to play me, and they're both trying to see if the other guy <laughs> wins. I don't know yet. I haven't figured that one out. I think they want a shot at the money and you. Yes, I, I believe that. I'll tell you, both players, I've been watching them, you know, throughout the tournament. Well, Ephraim, I know, is a great player. He then and his opponent all of a sudden looks, you know, phenomenal. Uh, he has the best record so far in the entire Mar tournament, Yeah, Mar but he also has the, the highest break and run percentage. Right. So that shows the importance. Oh! oh, wow. Wow. That's un uncanny. He's been playing like God up until this point. I know. I think you know what it is? Pressure. 
And also, pressure, he's been on his feet for five days, yes. 10 hours a day. Yes. Oh, man. The pressure is definitely getting to him. And that's a shot he'll make 99 out of 100 times. But he left Ephraim, I think, he was hitting that hard enough, so if he did miss it, the five ball is blocking the 13. So Ephraim cannot hit his ball. I don't believe he can hit it. He might play at rail first. I'm not sure. Oh, you can play at rail first. I predict this is over. Clean shot here. Oh. He made it, and he got perfect on the eight. Look, look at this. this. Look at this. Guess who I'm playing in the finals? <laughs> uh, Manalo had his chance. He had his chance to continue and stick around in this match, but instead... It is Efren Reyes, the magician, who after a somewhat rocky start in the tournament emerges like Houdini. He'll climb the hill to face Mike DeMouth Siegel in the biggest final match in pool history. Let's go to our Rebecca Grant, who is with Efren Reyes. I'm here with Efren, the most amazing magician ever. You must be so happy. Yeah, I'm, I got lucky today. I don't think I'm going to go to the uh, king of the hill, you know. So are you really playing for the money or for your country? Of course, I'm playing for the money oh. and for the country. <laughs> <laughs> for both? Oh, uh, both, yeah. Well, best of luck to you. We're so excited to see your magic tomorrow. Uh, thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. What a stunning round four here at the International Pool Tour, and what a historic final match we've got in front of us. Two Hall of Famers, Reyes and Siegel, the magician versus the mouth. And, Mike, you won't be with us next time, of course. You'll be at center stage. What are your feelings right now? Well, I've played Ephraim many times. You know, my record is much better than him in the final. So, I mean, he's a great player. Half the people kind of think, you know, he's the best player. Half of them think I am. We'll see what happens. Kevin, it's a match made in heaven here. Absolutely. It's probably the match of the century. And again, as Mike said, half the people think Mike was the greatest player. Yeah. And the other <laughs> half think Ephraim is the greatest player because he's been playing consistently. We'll see what happens. Till next time and the richest, most dramatic match ever in pool. Siegel versus Reyes, the final. So long from the International Pool Tour's King of the Hill 8-Ball Shootout. Coming up next time on the International Pool Tour, Efren the Magician Reyes versus Mike the Mouth Seagull for the richest prize money ever. Who will be the next King of Pool?